time for breakfast. Good morning, Bob. My new secret weapon when it comes to baking bread on a campfire. Hmm. No apples. Apples, 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 Place favorite spots in the area. Oh, look at that. Looks like somebody's been back here before. <laughs> Everything's soaking wet from recent rain, so I went ahead and cut a fat wood knot off to use to get my fire going. While my fire is burning down, I'm going to go ahead and get my apple ready. Looks delicious, yeah? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apple off. It's been on about 25 minutes. It might not be long enough, but my mud is apparently not thick enough. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side and let it start cooling.
All right, the water's boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my oatmeal ready. Apple's looking good, and I'm starting to get hungry. This is smelling delicious. I asked for this guy. We'll give this a shot and see what happens, but I never really care too much for eggs in the bush. They're always messy, but they are kind of fun to cook. This guy, right there. <laughs> mm. It's kind of cool when the egg starts cooking like that. It's like an egg volcano with yolk magma. My biscuit's coming along pretty good. And I'm so ready to eat this apple. Oh yeah, and oatmeal. Apparently a lot of you don't like oatmeal. I don't understand that. Oh, it smells delicious. This apple smells absolutely delicious. Oh, my egg just popped. <laughs> I guess that means it's done. I'll let it sit on there a little bit more. All right, this apple smells totally delicious. So I'm going to flake some of it off and put it in my oatmeal. Oh, man, that's good. And the rest of it I'm just going to eat for dessert. All right, let's investigate this egg a little bit and see what... Oh, it's done. Oh, yeah, okay. Sweet. I'm just going to take my biscuit out, set it on my cup, and then transfer the egg to my other little pot. All right. Mmm. for the biscuit. Mmm, man. I feel like I'm neglecting this apple. This is easily the tastiest thing I cooked today. Peel some of this skin back. Oh my gosh, look at that. like baked apple pie I could probably smell. Oh. <laughs> it's so done that I can spoon it out oh you probably use your common sense to figure it out that the uh, idea of the mud is it forms an oven around the apple and it bakes it just perfectly when you <laughs> put enough mud on in my case today I went a little thin in one spot so it did get a little burned in one section but that's actually just the skin the apple underneath is totally fine all right can't forget about the egg Oh, it's still good. Hot. All right. Good breakfast for a growing boy. All right, I'm finished with breakfast. <laughs> and the fire has had plenty of time to die down, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning things up here and put my fire out. I'm not going to show myself getting all the water, but basically I'm going to get it from the stream that I got the mud from to make the mud apple. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I don't have just an endless supply of water in my pack.
It's so important that you do this every single time. A fire can easily catch back up once it's been wet. So you have to go through and place your hands actually on the ember bed. And if it's still hot at all, you put more water on it. Right now I'm actually pretty good. I mean, there's some warmth here, but there's no live embers at all. All the heat's just residual. All right, one final dump, and that should be fine. In fact, one final dump, and it will be fine. You should never say the fire should be out. You should say that you know for a fact, without a doubt, it is out before you leave it. <laughs> 